Hello, welcome to week three of an etude a week for the year of 2024. I am working on Allegro Moderato, study number 14, Opus 60 by Matteo Carcassi. I'll be playing a little bit of this and then going into what I practiced this week, some of the techniques I really focused on. And afterwards, I will be playing a little bit of As the Deer Pants for Water to apply some of the technique and musical ideas I got from this etude to the Praise and Worship song. So, apologize for any mistakes. It's been a little bit of rough practice in this week, but I think it's worth doing something with it today. So let's try it out. Alrighty, <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is not an easy etude, so just right off the bat, uh, this is a tricky one for me, and I think it would have been a little bit different, but I ended up chasing, changing the course of my practice this week. So last week I mentioned how my nail skipped breaking in my right hand, so I was searching for potential techniques to play right-handed without having to have nails. And so I looked into a program and everything and I've been working through it, but it's a vastly different way of doing it. So <laughs> this did not turn out the way I would have wanted it to uh, turn out. And of course I probably could have slowed it down quite a bit more, maybe just played a section of it. But just to show that I cannot do everything perfectly every single time, this is just the reality of practicing. So while I probably will come back to this in several months from now, just to revisit it, <clears throat> What I want to say about the technique that I've been working on is, so since um, I don't have nails right now on this right hand, I have, of course, the, the regular part of the nail, but they're not over the pad of the finger like, you know, guitar players who play with nails do. They usually grow out those nails a little bit more so they can get a nice, uh, almost articulation or front to the note. Well, this, this style is a little bit different. I have to actually rotate my hand more in this direction and there's an element where I actually have to pluck towards the guitar, but at the same time, I have to escape missing the string right next to it, which is actually quite challenging. And there's ways to do it wrong and ways to do it right. So I've been really trying to work on that uh, just to get the proper tone out of the instrument. So that's been my struggle. And I've just really been doing real simple exercises where I literally just, my thumb is the easiest one to do it, where I'll take the, Actually, just open strings, I'll just play that note. Now just try to get a good sound. Like that. Took me a couple times to get it. And then I try to get that same sound with my other fingers. So you can see, I'm using my thumb right now. now I'm gonna try to use my fingers. Notice it just doesn't have the same sound. So I've got to really work on trying to make that the pointer, middle, and ring finger is more like the thumb. So that's what I've been working on. But enough with that, that's plenty of details. Let's go ahead and play a chorus of As the Deer, and I'll just work some of these ideas in there. Wow. 
water so much, so long it That's what I've been working on this week. That's some of the ideas I was able to take from that. Uh, one note, I did tune down this guitar about a whole step on every string just to make it easier on the fingertips of my right hand since I'm used getting used to that new technique. But that's it for this week. Um, if you liked it, you know, you're welcome to comment or uh, like or if you got any questions or you're like, oh, that was terrible. Why did you do that? And you're welcome to comment, whatever. But um, I'd be thankful for any uh, any comments or any uh, suggestions if you've got any as well. And I appreciate you watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.